the last day of July, and it is officially the rainiest July on record. Tom Esterbrook from Esterbrooks is here because our gardens, our baskets, our vegetables have taken a beating because of so much rain. They just don't know what to do with it all, yeah. right? I mean, we had drought conditions in June. You know, July's been extremely wet. Both of those coupled problems in all plants, but you know, if you look at your annuals, like we had heavy rain last night, the night before, and you know, look at these petunias and verbena, they're all beat up, okay? Right. But by late tomorrow, if we feed them with kind of just some miracle Grow Bloom Booster or another liquid fertilizer, they're bred to put the new blossoms right out. So you can okay. see even today, some of the new blossoms are starting to open. And so they'll kind of push through that. So giving an extra feeding the next time they need water, whether it's two days from now or whatnot, give an extra feeding that will push more blossoms out and they'll rebound and do much better. And that is key because I think people are afraid to water at this Correct. point. So just wait till it dries out a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, fertilizer. if they're in containers, you okay. can do it fairly quickly. Okay. You know, um, yeah. we'll probably water these with fertilizer this afternoon. So, okay, very good. Um, what and, about veggies? Well, veggies, you know, we've got slugs and snails. We've got blossom end drop. We've got bah, 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 problem after problem. So let's kind of go through things. Slugs and snails. Um, Sluggo is a good one. Uh, this is Sluggo Plus. So um, it actually will do your cutworms and kind of ah, some of the other problems okay. that you find in your vegetable garden. So that's a good one. And the rain does bring out the slugs. Correct. Like it's like nothing. crazy. So keep an eye on your plants, but also your vegetable garden. Okay. Diatomaceous earth is another good organic root to basically ward off anything. Now, after each rain, this has to be reapplied. Oh. So if we have a dry spell coming up, you kind of moisten down the plants and then you put this down and it'll kill your slugs and snails. But any other soft bodied crawl insects too. Okay. okay that the rain tends to bring out correct okay harvest guard so we talked about this numerous times so this is just kind of like a, che a cheese cloth product okay this can also protect from heavy rain okay so if you put it over the plants oh, nice. on a structure it will protect from heavy rain so if we look like we're going to get heavy downpours and you really want to protect you can use that to kind of ward for those off delicate those delicate stemmed right. vegetables that's a good idea Captain Jacks, okay, this is an organic way to, to spray for any of your insect problems. Um, it's very, very useful as far as, um, you know, your soft-bodied aphids, uh, white flies, um, any of your caterpillars, stuff like that. So okay. that, that works well. And of course, neem oil. Neem oil is good because it will do the insects, but it also has some fungicide properties. But it's not really a fungicide. A lot of people will use this as a fungicide and it is not a fungicide, it's an insecticide. Okay. And I see it's also got roses on there. Correct. Okay. Yep. And, Japanese and, beetles, that will work on also. And I know when I had the the big leaved, uh, you know, plants like pumpkins and things like that, mm -hmm. though, it would get really white really fast. Powdery mildew, Powdery so that's mildew. next. So copper fungicide okay. is more of preventative for that. Okay. It's not gonna be a curative. We need to use a product called Funganil or something like that, but you know, being proactive right now is important. To, you know, especially using an organic copper fungicide, it'll it'll knock out a whole bunch of things. There's, so that's super common with the rain too. It the is powdery mildew. Absolutely, and it's, it's just that white. It, it does, does look powdery on it them. It spreads from splashing water. So oh. if you use a sprinkler, you will spread it. Okay. And also in the rain. So if you're using a sprinkler, you want to limit that splashing of water from plants to plant. Okay. This is another fungicide, Revitalize. Now this is new. This is our new er, I should say. This is a biofungicide, okay. okay? So what this does is it rapidly makes the plant's immune system activate. So okay. you spray this on, and this is a great preventative product. Um, so it actually goes in the plant and it says, supercharge me, so that you ward off naturally problems. Interesting. Okay? So a great organic way to go for Excellent. that. Excellent. Kind of a little vaccination there for you. Blossom <laughs> end rot. So this is right, rot stop. Okay? okay. Now rot stop is just a calcium spray. Okay. So That's you get those is. blackened ends on your tomatoes. Yep. Now is a perfect time with all this rain is to spray them down with a calcium spray and that prevents rot. Excellent. On that blossom end. Excellent. So, and you can always come in and ask absolutely. if you have a problem. Fertilizer is important, but not too much. And it's also time, if you have some of the problems that we've talked about, you may consider pulling some of those vegetables out because they may not get better. And it might be time to put in a later summer crop, you know, so spinach, radishes, kale, lettuce, basils, 
You can count them now. Exactly. And so still have time. You're going to have a crop for the end of the season. That's always nice. I love that. All right, Tom, Good. thank Good to you. See. Be back right after this.